What's up guys, this is Scott Takai and today I'm going to be talking about step down and step up rings. So these rings are used to make your lenses filter size bigger so that it could fit a bigger lens filter. For example, if you have a lens with a 58 millimeter filter thread and you have an 82 millimeter lens filter, you would have to buy a 58 to 82 millimeter step up ring in order to use that bigger filter on a smaller lens. But wait! Why can't I just buy a lens filter that fits the size of that lens? Well, I'm glad you asked. Me. The reason why you wouldn't want to do that is because all lenses come in a variety of different filter sizes. So if I had a filter that fits a smaller lens like this 35 to 100, which has a 58 millimeter filter thread, and I buy a new lens like this Sigma 50 to 100, which has an 82 millimeter filter thread, then the original filter wouldn't work because it would be too small. You can use step down rings to make the lens thread smaller, but then you run the risk of getting vignetting in your image. The best thing to do would be to buy an 82 millimeter filter since that will cover you on pretty much every lens and then buy step down rings to match the size of whatever lens that you're adapting it to. I used to buy the packs of these step up and step down rings so that I can have it for every size but the problem that I found was that you had to put all of the rings together in order to get the right size and this adds a lot more weight to the front of your lens and increases the likelihood of your shot getting vignettes and the extra front weight also isn't helpful for for when you're shooting on a gimbal. So I started buying adapters that adapt very specific filter sizes like this 58 to 82 millimeter step up ring and this 72 to 82 millimeter step up ring, which is currently stuck on the filter and I can't get it off. But one little trick that I've learned is if you have a rubber band, you can wrap it around the filter. Ah, come on. It's a little bit challenging, but okay. So once you get the rubber band onto the filter like so, it actually gives you extra grip in order to take apart this filter. So I bought these specific step up rings for my lenses that have very specific filter threads like this 58 to 82 millimeter because if I were to screw on all of these step up and step down rings onto my lens, it's gonna be a lot more front heavy. So having this very specific one, the 58 to 82 millimeter, it makes it so that I could adapt my lenses to my 82 millimeter filter like so, without having to add a bunch of step up rings and just make it look stupid. Also, what's really, really annoying is when you have all of these filters screwed together and you need to take some of them apart, it's really annoying to have to unscrew all of these because it's usually kind of hard to get a grip onto it. And then also, if you're ever switching it from one lens to another and you're constantly switching back and forth to them and they have different filter sizes, it's really annoying to have to constantly re-screw the filters back on, take them off, rescrew them, take it off. Like it kills a lot of time. And when you're on set, having to spend less time fiddling with these stupid filters, it makes it a lot more efficient. So the reason why I would suggest buying an 82 millimeter filter, even though you have smaller lens threads is because for example, let's take this 35 to 100 lens. It has a 58 millimeter filter thread. If I were to buy a 58 millimeter filter, it would fit perfectly fine. But when I switch over to a bigger lens, like this 50 to 100, the filter isn't gonna be able to fit this one because this one is an 82 millimeter. If I have an 82 millimeter filter and I stick it onto here and then I needed to switch it over to a smaller lens, all I need to do is buy an adapter. Where if I did it the other way around and adapted a 58 millimeter filter to this 82 millimeter, it's gonna be sticking so far forward and the filter is probably gonna be about this big. Since the lens width is a lot bigger than the actual filter, you're gonna run into vignetting. So you're gonna be forced to have to buy another filter in order to be able to use it properly. So if you buy a bigger filter and just step it down to your smaller lenses, you only have to buy a filter once. So that'll end up saving you a lot of money in the long run. So that's the video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff and check out my channel for more filmmaking content. Have an amazing day and I'll see you guys later. Peace.